In this video, we'll be looking at recording some audio. We'll be recording an electric guitar on an audio track. So first, we must click plus and add a new audio track to this otherwise empty arrangement. So the name of the track will be guitar. The type of a track will be an audio track. We'll just be adding one track and the format will be mono because the electric guitar connected to our audio interface is a mono source and the input will be selected as left input of my audio interface be sure to enable instrument high impedance input or high Z which is suitable for recording your guitar look into your audio interface manual for doing that now we'll open the inspector we have the volume fader mute and solo we talked about earlier but we also have Monitoring, which we need to enable to hear our guitar. So you can hear what you are recording. As well as arm for recording button, you have to keep this enabled for the signal to be recorded when we click record. First, we want to tune our guitar. So in the insert effects, we will uh, enable a tuner, which is in the browser effects and in the Presonus uh, folder mm, tuner. We'll pull it into the insert effects or on the track. Now we can tune our guitar. There is also the strobe mode, if the lines move to the right, then you're tuned to high and if they're moving to the left, you're tuned to low. If they stop, then you're exactly in tune. Once we have tuned our guitar, we want to enable the metronome using the metronome icon here. Metronome settings are available in the wrench icon where you can set the sound for the accent beat and offbeat as well as their volumes. There are also the pre-count and pre-roll controls and the length of the pre-count and pre-roll in bars. So if you set a playhead, for example to the start of the second bar and enable pre-count of one bar, when you push record, it will count one bar and then start recording. So it gives you some time to get ready for recording. On the other hand, if you click pre-roll, it will play the arrangement one bar before uh, the set recording position. You can also enable these in the transport bar uh, using the pre-roll and pre-count uh, icons. This is the pre-roll and this is the pre-count. So let's record some guitar. So an audio clip was recorded. Not everybody likes recording to the metronome, that's why you can use some drum loops from the browser as your backing track. We'll be recording from the start of the ninth bar, we'll enable pre-roll so we can hear one bar of the drums before the recording starts. Okay, so this wasn't very good, so we'll delete this and record again, but this time we'll be recording in a loop and multiple takes will be created as I play over and over these two bars. 
you can find various uh, recording options in the recording panel, the wrench icon on the bottom. Uh, just pay attention that the instrument loop uh, record takes mode only applies to MIDI instruments, we'll talk about this later, and when you're recording audio, over loop always takes are created like we'll see in a second. We have recorded two takes, so now this audio clip has this icon, which lets you select take one or two. Now we'll duplicate this, right click and duplicate or D shortcut. So we have our rhythm guitar and for every clip we can select a different take, so it's not always the same take. We want to record something else from bar 5 to bar 9 but this time we'll click record mode takes to layers So now you see that the takes are visible as separate layers, which lets you compose from these layers by selecting a portion you like. You see it jumps to the main track to form a composition of parts of individual takes. By right clicking you can activate the layer to listen to the whole recording in a layer, you can solve the layer, you can hide the layers using the expand layers checkbox, so you can hide them for future use. Now let's say we want to record something new uh, on bar 9 to 13. We just select this again and to replace the content automatically when recorded over we want to check record mode replace and start recording using pre-roll. Instead of creating a third take, in addition to the two previously recorded ones, the content was replaced. Now we want to use punch in recording, which means that recording will activate and disactivate automatically over these two bars, which we have selected using the playback loop, but keep the loop disactivated. And enable auto punch, the shortcut is I and we'll start recording and you'll see that the recording will enable by itself once the playhead reaches the 15th bar. And it disabled leaving the old content once we've passed the 17th bar mark. Now let's record a guitar solo over the rhythm guitar. We'll rename this track to Guitar Rhythm by double clicking on the name. And we'll add another track, name it Guitar Solo, change the color to red and still using mono and left input on our audio interface will create a new track. We want to enable monitoring for this track and arm it for recording. The difference now will be that we'll be recording with effects enabled, so we can have a different tone to our guitar. 
For this, we'll have to go into the browser in, and from the Effects tab, we'll want to pull the Empire Amp Simulation in, into the inserts in the inspector of this guitar solo track. Now we can audition the guitar through different amp simulations by changing presets. Let's record. This time we'll be recording using pre-count instead of pre-roll. So the playhead will remain stationary before it starts recording. One thing to remember is that the effects we've recorded with are not printed into this clip, as it is always recorded dry onto your hard drive. The insert effects are applied afterwards. That's why we can solo this, loop and addition different tones, different presets of the amp simulation once the recording has been done. <laughs> 